Once data validation was implemented, we validated it by payer and by market just to make sure that that met an accuracy level that we were comfortable with automatically loading into our system, which obviously we don't take lightly. CAQH, the data validation was 95, 97% accurate across payers and across all of our markets. So we are utilizing that at 100% for the records that are data validated. It's COB primary, and we're loading that into our system on a weekly basis. So it's been a really um, you know, nice change from just getting maybe ads, right? COB ads, very easy to obtain. A lot of vendors want to let you know somebody has COB, recoup the dollars on the back end. Not a lot of them want you to know when they term, right? Or even worry about providing you a termination on it. So it sits on your books indefinitely. You know, on, on the ads, if you're delaying some of that, that's moving the retrospective, right? If you only obtained it a month after the fact that they had that eligibility and COB with you, you're, you're gonna have to recoup those post pay. You're gonna have to, you know, maybe 80, 85% conversion on the, the recovery end if, you're, if you really have a strong post pay operations. And then if you're not getting the term for a month, then you're also denying all those claims throughout the month. So, you know, data validation is key from a frequency and accuracy and a breadth of the, the COB payers that are, you know, opted into that program and are getting distributed to you. So there's, you know, benefits on, on many fronts. And, and for those reasons, um, you know, behind state contractual obligations where we have to load files, um, from them, that is our, our, you know, behind our internal team, uh, obviously, is our first pass vendor.